A sculptor in Loveland has taken on a monumental task. She needs an act of Congress to get her latest work of art prominently displayed in Washington, D.C. And as Kathy Walsh reports, for Jane Decker, this is all about women and the fight for equal rights. Just honoring these women and um, using my craft to honor them. That's what this sculpture is all about. The six women are the forces behind women's suffrage and women's rights. Among them, Susan B. Anthony and Ida B. Wells. There are trailblazers on the bottom tier who envisioned the right to vote but never had the opportunity. And the next generation above. On the shoulders of giants, rising from their wisdom. You hear the passion for her project in Jane D. Decker's description. The Loveland sculptor wants the piece she calls Every Word We Utter to stand 20 feet high. It needs to be the scale because this is a monumental you know, accomplishment for women. And a move is underway to actually make it a monument in Washington, D.C. We just believe in it. At a recent open house, it wasn't hard to mold others into believers. We think that Jane's work is very special. She's got all generations and lots of ethnic diversity in there. It's just a lovely, lovely piece of work. There needs to be an act of Congress and a signature from the president to install the piece in D.C. Colorado Representative Jonah Goose has introduced a bill in the House. The push is to have the sculpture in place by August 2020, the hundredth anniversary of the ratification of the 19th Amendment. The hope is the piece will be in a prominent place, inspiring women to continue the push for equality. I'm Kathy Walsh covering Colorado First.